Welcome, my name is Richard and I'm going to show you how to do the initial setup for your Sneed Jet Infinity printer. The first thing you're going to want to do is connect to your printer uh, manually or directly. So you'll go ahead and click down here in the bottom right of your screen, your internet access button. And we'll look for the UID of the unit that we are trying to connect. We're working with unit UID 1841, so I'm going to go ahead and click this. We'll hit connect and we're just going to use the default password which is the digits one through nine. So let's make sure we got that right, great. And give it just a moment to connect to the printer. If you're not connected um, through any other means, whether it be a wire or not, you'll lose connection to the internet for a moment while you're directly connected to your printer. Once you're connected to your printer, in the search bar, type in the IP address 192.168.5. Point one. Hit enter. Now typically here it'll ask you for a password. Those digits will be one through six. I've logged into this printer once before so it just let me write in. So from the side here in the menu options we'll go ahead and select settings. And under settings in the Wi-Fi tab we're going to go ahead and select the Wi-Fi network we want to connect to. Below that, we'll go ahead and enter our password. And hit connect. Give it a moment to connect and you'll see we are connected to the printer now. Now that we're connected to the printer, we can go ahead and connect to our, um, our network. Keep in mind that the printer has been given a new IP address, which you see right here, access point IP.1.233. Point we're gonna use that to connect to the printer from this point. So now that we've connected to our Wi-Fi network and we've used the IP address 192.168, Point one point two three three. We're able to log back into our printer. You'll see this time it's prompted us to enter a new password. As I said before, the old password this doesn't want to pop up there. It should be one through six. For this one, I'm just going to do one through nine again. And this can be anything you want. And it's giving me an access code on the back of my printer to check. So on the, o, on the OLED screen on the rear of your printer, there'll be a four-digit code you'll need at this point. And now your printer is set up and ready for use. The next videos will show you how to create messages, barcodes, and go over an overview of the printer so that you know what the menu functions do. Thank you for watching.